the um, major uh, improvement that we saw initially in our initial study was language. And so we keyed on to that in our double blind placebo control study. And we showed that verbal communication or language um, improves um, um, significantly in three months. So all of our studies are, are, are 12 weeks or, or in three months. So that's where you have to kind of think of the endpoint. Um, uh, and for those that were positive for the folate autoantibody, that was a 77% response rate. Um, and something called the number needed to treat, how many kids you have to treat to get a response like that is 1.8, which is an extremely good number, um, right? You know, um, in clinical trials, we have this thing called the number needed to treat. And most people think that must be one, right? You go to the doctor, he gives you a pill, <laughs> you get better, you know, so the number needed to treat should be one, but it's actually about six to eight in most clinical trials. And that might be surprising to some people. So the fact that we have 1.8 means that about 65% of the children um, will respond like that. Now, some don't respond um, uh, with that, um, that really significant increase. It doesn't mean they won't. Some are negative for the folate autoantibody. So the folate autoantibody is the major reason um, that we find in children with autism. But there's mm -hmm. other issues, you know, including um, problems with mitochondria and other metabolic systems, okay? Um, there are genetic changes that also could do this too. There's also, um, as I think we talked about in the beginning, there's medical disorders, you know? If you haven't taken care of sleep, if you haven't taken care of the GI tract, which could be better, you're not gonna see that response. So that's why, you know, it's a not, you know, as I like to say in the beginning of my lectures, you know, don't do this at home. You know, it's <laughs> it's something that you need, really need guidance for, unfortunately. And uh, it, it's something that's complex.